Welcome back, everyone. Showing us how we can take everyday household items and give them a beautiful pop of color is Maria. Yes, and adding a pop of color is just that easy. Look how beautiful those are, perfect for spring. So I am doing this through dip dye. So when you think of dyeing things, yep. you think of the ombre, you think of um, and doing the tie dye, which I was is like that classic dye, dye that yes. everybody knows how to do. Yeah. Uh, so we're actually going to do dip dye, which is really just that we are dipping into dye and this it's a quick and easy way to add a pop of color and just really a simple way where you don't have to be super technical and it's that instant gratification like the second you dip it you have your color and you're good to go so you can see we have the brew and the spoons and then the little bags there and something about that clean line that you get from the dipping makes it seem so professional so like it you, does, know, you know what I mean yes. you can't it doesn't look like a home dye Exactly. Very professional okay. and really unique, too. So these make great gifts as well if you're looking By the way, see what we're wearing, everybody? Why are we wearing these, Marie? So if you get the dye, and I speak uh, from experience, onto your clothing, it will not come off. <laughs> you cannot wash this off. The dye is there for good. So we are wearing aprons. So, so make sure to uh, dress accordingly. Yeah, dress accordingly or get this. your wardrobe department to give you uh, aprons so you don't get your beautiful clothes uh and well, died. It died and work on a covered surface too. So okay. be prepared that when you once you dip this too, you got to be able to be in an area where you can dry your items accordingly too. That's well. a good yeah, you got to yeah. prepare ahead. Okay, so where are we starting on this side and we're working that way? Yes. Okay. So, this broom, Cameron Matheson. So when you think of dyeing, I, I thought of spring cleaning. What like says spring cleaning like a broom to you. So, what <laughs> I thought these little handheld ones were really cute because when you're out um, on your patio and everything for this the warmer seasons, these are great to have around. So, what I decided to do for this, it's as simple as mixing your dye into some water, but what I recommend for this, if you want to mix it when I pour it in, okay. I real don't follow the instructions. I know I Whoa. am a rule follower. Slow down, Maria. I don't am, follow the instructions. Don't follow the instructions and just make your mixture super saturated. Okay. And what I have is just a container here, and the reason why I want it to be a little bit smaller is because I want my broom to fit in like that. So you want all these little guys to go in there, and it will kind of absorb up a little bit more as well. This one is definitely going to take sometimes so you can see it's already taking it so this is I left mine overnight and I just wow. that yeah I did that after overnight you I let it uh, kind of dry and then I rinsed it and then I let it dry completely and you can see there I just added a little um, addition to the handle with some rope and that makes it your own little pretty broom that you can have anywhere in your house That's or outside yeah it's you just and these use, oh these are corn fiber i was I'm gonna sorry. say yeah other types of brooms as well yeah so you cannot do this um on something that's not a natural fiber because it won't absorb like the, the color. plastic broom yeah, like the ones that have yeah. plastic fibers, yeah so this the, it'll just wash off so the okay. natural fiber this one will take a little time these are handheld corn fiber brooms but it will soak in there uh for this one specifically because of the natural fiber. and when we come back tomorrow we'll check in on yeah. it <laughs> There you go. Leave it overnight. Okay, let's uh, move on to the basket. Because I gotta say, these these are some of my favorite things that you dip dyed over here. I Thank think they you. look so fun and so, so spring. -ish. These, yeah, it's spring ish. These baskets are great for. You could have them be laundry baskets. You could also just have them be um, things for towels in your bathroom. It's just a great, like we said, a pop of color. Yep. And then the bright colors, which also, by the way, if you did this in a different season, you could do some darker colors as well. Keep your hands off it. I'm gonna try that on the right hand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> also, you don't want to ruin your nails, so wear some gloves. Okay, okay. so I have uh, my uh. basket here, and this is also just a natural, uh, you don't want things that are already pre-dyed. So a natural dye, or a natural um, colored fabric, and yep. you just push this in here. Okay. And this is going to be also an instant gratification This is well. going to look so good. You know, that's what we were talking about earlier, too. Everybody loves instant gratification. <laughs> and something about dip dye, I mean, other than the overnight uh, deal we got here with the broom, it's pretty much instant it gratification. Is. Yeah, you can see. And so what I would do here is I would actually put something in that would weigh it down. And after you do that... If I could get my gloves on, I'd help you. Yeah, there you go. So, or you, could, so you have a couple options. You can make this an ombre look. Okay. And, by doing what you're doing and have it be a little, hold it down a little bit more, and then as you go, you do more and more and more. Perfect. And what you do is it would create an ombre, ombre look, or you can weigh it down or have a camera in around to hold it down, and that will uh, just dip literally the bottom of it. The ones over there that are dipped at the top, yes. I just flipped over and I, I held them until it was the color that I wanted it to be. You can have that right there. And look, at it's already taking on the color. And look at how pretty that is. It already has like that sort of ombre type of look. And, if, and what, about 45 oh, seconds exactly. or something? I mean, it's already yep. taking on And we can leave that there because I want that to be a little bit more saturated in terms of color at the and bottom And then you'll get well. that ombre look. Yep. Maria, this Very is cool. simple. Okay, so let's move on to our kitchen utensils then. Okay. 
I love pretty kitchen utensils. I'm such a sucker for wood spoons. Things just got I serious, don't everybody. Know. <laughs> it is a big deal in my house, and I use these all the time. <laughs> There's nothing like a good wood spoon. So I have to tell you, I wanted to dip dye, but so these, if you're shopping, you're like, oh, look, these can all be, these can dip the same way. Well, I'm gonna add some of my dye into my water, and I want it super saturated as well. Mix it up like okay. that. And I want to show you real quick. I'll grab this. Uh, so look at, I dip this in here. Yeah. And look at how, do you see how that just beads away? Exactly. So I learned this the, like the hard way basically when I even tried to do this with different kinds of baskets. It will not take the color because one, it's either sealed or you were saying it's like a bamboo. Yeah, that this is, is made out of bamboo, which is a harder wood than something like maybe a pine or I'm not sure, but that probably yeah. looks like a softer wood. But you're right also, you can tell by the way it beaded off the bamboo that there was a finish there. You'll know sure. instantly yeah, if it's going to take on the color. There was, and yeah. so you can see, look at this, you can see how quickly this takes the color. This is super saturated. So what I would do, I would actually rinse it under some water instantly, and you either can keep one like this, or you can do one a little bit longer and another one a little bit longer. So each one's sort of lighter than or darker than the other, and it's sort of a good way to get that like little bit of uh, ombre aspect when you package them up. And they're packaged up really beautifully over there. So that is something else that you can do as like a really great hostess gift or a spring gift for somebody like me. Uh, I might be taking. You can have one. I'm going to take the other. No, no, no. Is, listen, <laughs> you worked hard on these. I'll take, I mean, I always take whatever I can get. Dibs on the yellow. So, <laughs> but that's as easy as it is to, to do to do the uh, the wood spoons as well. Great job. Just make sure it takes on the color. Really, really fun and perfect for the spring, everybody. I love this. It Head fits. over to hallmarkchannel.com for all the information that you will need to make your own dip dye genius. Okay, coming up next, psychologist and author Dr. Lara Fielding gives us tools to better prepare our kids for adulthood. Ooh. Very, very important. Come on back. Oh, man. I know. That's perfect.